to episode 127 of the podcast. I hope you was vibing with us. I hope you was in your car jamming, in your house jamming, in your, in, in, at work jamming. Hey, look, if you just happen to be around your grandmother, I hope you pulled her out the seat and she was jamming. Welcome to episode 127. Oh. <laughs> Nana over there. No. What's going on? I don't know what happened to you, but. You just. Let's cut yours up. There you go. Yeah, I love. Whoa. There you go. I love you. Yeah. Get you. I can cut mine down. Yeah. Okay, buddy. How you doing today, baby? I'm good. You doing good? Yep. You're going to try and get us drunk. What? This to be the one night I ain't going to sleep early. What? <laughs> I'm up. What? Yeah. What we gonna do about that? <laughs> Put you down. Yeah, man. What's going on in your head? <laughs> Everything is flying over your head. All the way. <laughs> you ready to get into it? Definitely is. You better hurry up for this liquor settle in. Just how we roll. Go ahead. How we roll. Go ahead. Just how we roll. That's how we roll. <sighs> How we roll, cause they roll the same way I roll to the Waffle <laughs> House. Hey man, look, I ain't got no more hate for that couple anymore. Why Smell? do you have hate for them? Cause I feel like sometimes they be doing too much. Man. They be trying to portray like being too perfect. Man, he could have rented out Philippe Child anyway. Now, My man rented out Wolf House cause that's what his wife likes. Yeah, she said that man, that's like on top top. That's I wonder what she mean by it's on top top. Like, that's everything. That's what that means? Like, they could have done it any other way. Mm-hmm. But he, a big lavish party, oh, you get what I'm saying? My man said, nah, I'm just going to do this. Man, no. Now we cool. Me and Sierra cool forever. She said, her man knows she love Waffle House. You out. love if I had run out of Waffle House. You ain't got to run out of Waffle House. I ain't got too many people I can't share Waffle House with. You ain't got to share with nobody. It was them. I thought it was people with them. What people? I thought it was other people. Let's look in the video. It wasn't that many people. They put the white tablecloths out. It wasn't packed. It probably was like a chilled like, dinner thing. Even though I, I ain't going to eat Waffle House. You can't. Mm-mm. I mean, they probably know worse than people cooking in the back so you don't see what they do. But to see you clean the grease trap with the fast yeah, and wipe see, it off on the trash can and, and flip the egg with it. They had all sorts of snacks at the uh, Waffle House. Mm. I don't know why we can't hear them. That was cute, though. That, that was, was real that cute. Was, that was more than cute. And cake. she had donuts as her cake. Yeah. That's my type of people, though. I, I like when you see um, celebrities... When they can be regular people. Oh. And when people actually treat them like the humans that they really are. Yeah. That's cute. Mm-hmm. So you no longer hating on them. Why would you even hate them? That's I just told you, man. I feel like sometimes crazy. they were a little too perfect for for the world. Okay. It's glad. I mean it's good that somebody can't accept Waffle House for what it is. Nobody cares if them people don't wash their hands. Or if they cook food and run the same thing. I like all that shit. I think Waffle House isn't Waffle House if you don't get the bacteria. <laughs> you no, know they say heat kills everything. So, you remember when COVID was happening? They say put your clothes in hot water. Like, I guess. Um. I mean, listen to him. This is like, this is like next level. This is like top, top. Top, top. How much I love Waffle House. He ran out the whole Waffle House, and I am the happiest girl in the world. This is crazy. Can't play that. That's copyright infringement. I don't want no cause of that. Yeah, stop, stop. See? See why I be hating? That, that, that was hate. She didn't have to add that to her goddamn video. She could have kept it simple. She didn't have to crip, crip, little, crip, little high so we could repost her shit. She thinks she slick. She said, mind your business. Mind she invited us in the group chat. Out the group chat. No, that's some bullshit. Uh, that's, some, good that's some good No, that ain't a good one. That is hate. All right, this your topic. Thoughts. I low key agree with the kid. Put the daddies on the child support. 
Okay. Oh, read it. So, I'm not reading that. It's too much. Herod, to read. what? It's too much to read. Man, whatever. In, in my state of mind. So it says, my 16 year old daughter feels entitled to my child support I get from her father. How would you handle this? I also think her father is putting things in her head. Either way, the money he sends is for me to care for her, and she doesn't grasp paying my bills, which also benefits her siblings in a part of this. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the mother saying. <clears throat> the little girl sends her a message saying, my dad told me how much he pays and you in child support, and he showed me. I just don't understand how my dad pays nineteen hundred in child support. When I ask for something, you say no. Also, you use the money my dad sends to care for me to spend on Ern and Jeff, which are her siblings. When I ask for something, I, it always it's always a problem, and you threaten to take my phone away when I do anything you don't like. If it wasn't for me being here and my dad paying you, you couldn't afford to keep the house. I do love you, but it feels like you take advantage of having me here. I'd rather live with my dad, and I just want you to allow for it to happen without making a big issue. I don't think it's right. I don't benefit from my dad's child support, yet you spend it. What? I don't, I don't know. So, I, I come from a household where I was raised by my grandmother, and the only thing I got in child support was $110 a month. So, so the fact that she get $1,900 a month, that is a blessing. Now, but, whether she di directly benefits from $1,900 or um, the family collectively benefits from the $1,900, I think she should be just grateful. Because without that 1900 I feel like a little girl. Because if I, if my father sends you $1,900 and I ask you for something and you tell me no and it's not unreasonable, like, yeah, you've got to pay, you know, to keep a roof over my head, like the lights or whatever the situation. But I get her. If she wasn't living there, would you be able to live where you live and how you live? Well, and you have two other kids. Like, the support is not for them other kids. I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I kind of feel like, I feel that. That kind of gives, like, if I had multiple kids, they had different fathers. And I got, say I got four kids and I got three baby daddies. Or I got four baby daddies. Each child I got a daddy. And two of them do. And the other two don't do. Like the other two, they'll come get the kid. They'll spend time with them. We got a good routine going. But the other two just ain't getting right. I'm sure those other two feel some type of way. Like, but I can't force it to be like, oh, you can't come get them because there ain't nobody coming to get them. That's not fair. Like, they didn't pick and choose who their parent was, but I just, I feel like, I kind of understand a little girl. Like, my father sent you 1900 a month. Like, factor in how much. Like, out of my 1900 you should basically be like, I right, will you pay for your own cell phone, or you pay for this, you pay for that out of your money to see, like, the responsibility aspect of it, but for her to I mean, wanted to go stay with her dad. Let her go stay with her dad. If and she think people, it's better than that. <clears throat> the people in the group chat say, well, I start charging her for every single expense she occurs That's in the house. Food, water, personal hygiene products, and rides, medical and dental bills, too. No one is, uh, exists for free. And then this other, the second person said, there's another part of this. The mom stated that the young lady wants her nails done and money for school food, as well as she wants to take driver's ed. She won't let her get her nails done because her other daughter will want to. That's not fair. That's stuff like that. That is not fair to her because you can't provide to do for the other little girl. So you want to tell her, no, she can't do it.
Oh, so this lady agrees with the young lady, with the young girl. She like, if she's getting nineteen dollars a month, um, she should be able to enjoy these pleasures. Yeah. Let's do some incentive math. Let's say this is a household of four. Mom has three children. Her rent is twenty two hundred divided by four. That's five hundred and sixty two dollars per person. Let's say her light bill is two hundred. That's fifty dollars per person. Water and gas bill is two fifty. That's sixty two fifty per yeah, person. Yeah, the breakdown. Grocery is six hundred. That's a hundred and fifty per person. Toiletries and cleaning supplies is one sixty. That's forty dollars per person. School supplies, clothing, are normally brought at the beginning of the school year, so this won't count mm -hmm. as a monthly expense. But let's add this up for the one person. That's eight hundred and sixty-five dollars. There's still a thousand thirty-five left over each month in child mm -hmm. support. I agree with the daughter, but you can always let her live with her father. Mm -hmm. Facts. <clears throat> Yeah, I like how she broke that math down. I just think it don't never it, it don't necessarily work that way. No, nobody wants to think of it that way. Like for her to break it down like that. The biggest question is, does the does the story say how old this child is? No, I, it didn't say all that. It was just the little glimpse. But like I'm saying, hypothetically, if it was to be like that, I just don't think realistic. like children. I. I <clears throat> I don't get that the mom should go through nineteen hundred dollars a month without making sure her daughter is not financially set up later on in life. So maybe that little girl is missing the point, and maybe the mom is financially setting her up in a way that she may. If she says she's spending the money on the other two kids. But even if even if she's spending the money on the other two kids, what does the other two kids necessarily? Uh, need outside of whatever they already got. I'm just saying, who knows? Also, but she but, clearly knows that she can't get what she want out of her money because she's buying But maybe she's also her. saving up for a child's college fund. Like, we don't, we don't, we don't, look. And I'm I, a mother. I say, let her go stay with her dad. Yeah, if, 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 if it's, if that, if it's that big of a problem and it's, she's really complaining, I think if she goes stay with her dad, she definitely not gonna get her nails and stuff done. Why not? If he was sending her nineteen hundred, that's her money now. She, but no, he's not sending the child nineteen hundred. He's paying child support, and it's a guarantee that he's paying child support because he's ordered to pay that child support. But he don't have to. You know, yeah, people get to put on back pay because they ain't paying, but they supposed to. Yeah, people so also get arrested all the time for not paying. But I'm support. just saying. Now. That nineteen hundred no longer has to be put into the household to cover your mother's lights, the, electric, and stuff. So now I can give you. But the real question is, at what age do you think a child should start getting their nails and feet done? I was get her feet done. No, I'm saying the way. Who knows how she wants to get them done? She may just want this this special treatment. And okay, what if her mother is trying to do her a favor by not letting her go and buy the? She the said she food? don't want to do that because. She don't want the other daughter to want it. That's oh, not so, her fault yeah. that you can't afford for the other little girl to get but her But it is her done. mom's responsibility to try to control the energy in her home. And that is what it is. Close your legs. I mean, but we passed that point. So now where you go at? You give Okay, the so then, no, you don't. You at least say, hey, let's, let's figure out something else. How about I do your nails? You know, we, we all sit here. And get the stuff and do each other's nails. You get what I'm saying? Oh, or, situation. Now let's be let's be a pro for the daughter. Or do you 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 explain to them goddamn kids? Well, unfortunately, your father ain't shit, and he ain't doing the <laughs> things that uh, my this, this this third daughter is doing. So nah. listen, you put it there because want... then they gonna look at the mother as ain't shit. Well, so that's what that's she shows as the father. Well, and hopefully they're young enough to not understand what ain't shit of a person is, unless you just sitting out here bad talking to parents. I just I, think, man, look, I know 1900 seems like a lot in a month. I do think it's a little disrespectful for you to get that $1,900 a month for that one child and try to spread it out amongst the other two, but then probably pocket in your money. I just said, once a month, she should be able to get her nails done. And if she has a, a little sister, who knows how old they are, she can't get the same thing she get. Maybe the homegirl is able to get a gel manicure and gel pedicure. But other baby girl got to get regular. She just going to have to get regular. 
Like, that's what I'm saying when it comes to it. It's not to say that you got to be like, oh, the hell, well, even though that may sound nice, but that's still your child. But like she said, if my father was not paying this, where would we be? And that's kind of like, she like, that's the energy we need to have. Like, the money that's coming in, if it didn't come, we could still be good. But we should be depending on it. That's That's what I get out of it. Like, and that's what some people. Okay, so if the father is putting, if she believes that the father is putting things in the in the child's head, maybe he he won his daughter, so he ain't got to pay the nineteen hundred. Yeah, because if he, <laughs> and that's. But I'm saying, I ain't got to pay the nineteen hundred to pay for your mother lights all that stuff. But I could sit here and give you an allowance. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you not you not getting an allowance at your mom's house. But if you come over here, see, and, and I can give you an allowance. And this is where I disagree with the with the mom. It's like, and she doesn't grasp paying my bills, which it also benefits her siblings see? as part of this. See? Her siblings are not part of this. Unfortunately, this is the part where that, that child should be selfish. But and that's what I'm selfish. saying. Child this, support. This child support, was, uh, this child support came with stipulations of me you and my father doing the thing and me being produced. But what I'm saying is some people shouldn't look at child support as a main source of income to where they depend on you know oh, what I'm shit. saying? But that but, they but do that's though. what yeah that's what people do. But I'm just saying it should be like if it comes it's extra money to do X, Y, and Z. If it don't come, everything else is still paid because it was you know, you know cause stuff happen. Payments that. get missing, payments mm-hmm. don't come, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. But you don't want that to be that I live in a thirty three hundred dollar penthouse or whatever, condo, yada yada yada, and I'm depending on this nineteen hundred to help factor in with this thirty three hundred. Like, come on now. Yeah. Yeah. So long to it. So to to end this topic, you think you agree with the daughter? I do. I agree with the daughter. Another girl, and then sometimes you just gotta let kids see that the grass ain't green on the other side. Yeah. What we got? We got a little pump with his motherfucking jail manicure. He ain't the only one that get jail manicures. But why, like, what's going on with this freaking generation? I don't know. I, like, I really want to understand this, man. Like, it's something like, for them to do because they know they can influence the kids to do it, too. <laughs> that's, that's they can brainwash. Like, my man got a full set. <laughs> Ain't that what y'all call it? Oh, no. He has a... He got co- uh, stiletto man, nails and everything. My man got a full set, something. A full... I thought he set. had the Lord Yachty no, just polished. No. no, he got actual nail nails. My man got a full set, son. That's weird. Sonya, that is weird, dog. <laughs> That's weird, dog. Like, tell me that that ain't, that is weird. He said, babe, I'm tired of you scratching my back on me. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> I can put my nails in your back. But, you know, that's that, that comes from... Wait, get hit with the... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? What you gonna say? Come on, man. This the people come, waiting. This comes from this generation <laughs> that's being influenced by the oversaturation <laughs> of this weak generation that is a brewing. That's the best I can do. <laughs> what generation is that? What's the category? Non-binary. <laughs> what the we, tacos got to do with it? We just had a conversation about <laughs> the alphabet. <laughs> And, and which alphabet means what? This was a deep conversation that we probably should have had on the podcast. But I felt like 
it so, would rub people the wrong way. But it's it's a real conversation. You better it's not a, put them acronyms in the wrong order. You better you know, not GLBKQT. Yeah, but I also think this is disrespectful to that community yeah. in any of them letters. Because I don't think he identifies as none of them letters. He's just doing stuff just to do it. Like, I really don't understand this. Like, why waste your time, money, and, and, and energy to just put this up? And then you're going to get on stage and start rapping about being a killer. Because, you know, it's getting people like pimp? you. What is this little pimp? Little pump. Little pump. <laughs> little pimp. <laughs> little pump pimp. If you had your feathers ruffled, he got your attention. Oh, so you think it's attention to <laughs> He got your attention. Oh, no, no, no. No, my man ain't. Oh, my God. No, for real? What? Is this what he do? You ain't know that was who saying this? Yeah. Oh, that's disrespectful. Gucci gang, 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 Oh, okay, but a full set. it's when you do the stuff with it. How do you feel about it? I don't give a fuck what he do. He can scratch his own asshole through the tissue. I don't care. <laughs> you, did you just say when you turn your mouth? What? There you go. What it is? Now be fighting. Because oh, it felt like at one moment you got right <sighs> in the mic where you need to be at. Uh, See? There you go. Gucci gang, Gucci. <laughs> he got you. They got him. <laughs> Man, next topic. <laughs> Don't be so more, over it. More, more confused souls. The White Howard out here uh, pressing up on the um the um yeah yeah I mean. You have to skip. Wait, wait. No, what I skip? Yeah. Oh no, we don't want to go that far. I ain't skip. Yes, All right, so one. ladies, do y'all agree with this list? Get it, baby. This is your list. You get on my nerves. You mad. You big mad. Ain't that how you say it? That's just how you say it. Mm-hmm. You get on my nerves. All right. All right. So, I know. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did you burn? You almost died or something? The fuck? Ooh, that thing. That nigga that. almost died. That shit gonna go right to your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that shit gonna backfire. So I know y'all done seen the list circulating about. They ain't seen that list. You saw it. Um, places that women absolutely refuse to go on a first date. Okay. So this list, I just think it's like overrated. Like, it's real OC because. If you go on a first date, like, you're going to link with somebody so y'all can have a conversation, get to know each other, you know, that type thing. Not to run up somebody's pocket on some shit that you can't even do on your own on a regular. Like, some of these places, is like, okay, you may not want to go to Applebee's. But cheese said five, three, happy hour, lit. Like, what is your, uh, you may not want to go to the movies because how y'all don't get to, to know each other with all that noise and everything of that nature you definitely don't want to go to nobody's house on your first date now church absolutely not like especially if we not both heavily into the church type situation that's not the vibe you don't want to do that like you want to be somewhere where y'all can be able to interact have some conversations like what's wrong with a coffee date like I don't see nothing wrong with that. Nightclubs, no. They got Wolf House on here. Why not why, why not nightclubs? That's too that's too much of a distraction. That's that's, that's a big turn off. Like if we go to night a nightclub club, night nightclub meetups are for the one night stand. But yeah, but that's a big that's turn a, off. So that's a meetup. 
It's not a turn off if you get a one night stand. But that's not what the attentions are. First, that's where a lot of that's why that's that's where a lot of in illegitimate babies are made. The night club. Like I don't see nothing wrong with like going to even if they was the same Mimi at Apple. This joker said maybe mm-hmm. that's what they can you know afford. Not on. to say that you got to be like ill. Applebee's, you can get a salad and go about your business, and things just ain't gotta work out. What about the carry out? That's not on here. No. <laughs> so the carry out won't be a first date. You no. Get your carry out. Get your nice blanket. Oh yeah, you can do like a picnic, sit and chill. That's cute. Yeah. You great. know, something like that. But I, I don't think, think I don't think you, a family function is a good first date. Oh hell no. Absolutely not. You know how I know? Because the first family function I went to with her, I got handcuffs put on me. So I know that is not a good spot to go for a first date. Oh, yeah. I know the movies for a first date ain't a good uh, spot to go to either. Because she was going to fight somebody. I know that too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know church might not be a good first date either. Because, you know, she may not get along with the first lady. <laughs> I I know sometimes going to somebody's house for a first date either might not be a good idea either because you might get manipulated by the uh one of the people's uh friends or girls that's in that uh house. That might not get a spot uh, be a good spot either. It's the bowling shot. bowling might not be a good spot either because people might be at the bowling alley, they might take advantage of you. When you're trying to <laughs> save money, they might be trying to find ways to manipulate you. So bowling might not be a good spot either. Sporting events might not be a good spot either because that would be a spot where you fool around and catch COVID. What? What? Wait, wait. What? Hookah, hookah bar might not be a good spot either because they said that was where COVID was brewing at because everybody was inhaling the same smoke. Netflix and chill might not be a good spot either because Netflix is going up. It went from $8 to now 21 bucks. Nightclubs might not be a good spot either because that's when your your girlfriend at the time will walk in on another girl talking about her current boyfriend and she might get upset. <laughs> a bar just to drink. A bar just to drink might be a good spot too because you know this nigga like going to the bar just to drink. It's when she walk in, she heads straight to the bar. <laughs> All right, long story short, that is a laundry list of places to go on first date. No, they said sure. not going on the first yeah, date. Yeah, that's a laundry list of places to not go on the first date. And I don't think all of them are bad places to go on the first date. But I don't think you should go on any first date somewhere that you can't afford to pay on your own. If homeboy do like he did, oh girl, they went out for, he said for drinks, and she ordered four <laughs> dozen of oysters and a meal. And a drink. Homeboy went to the he went to the bathroom and did not come back. I'm not coming back. You better make sure you got your card on handy. And and that's the thing. You wanna make sure that wherever you go, if it don't work <laughs> out or he ain't got it, that you can cover your own. So if y'all want a fleet child and all that, knowing you ain't got the, bill, the money to pay for the water. The bill come right. The bill come right. Oh, I got to pee. <laughs> I'm going to walk into that bathroom and I'm out the door. He realized that. And she said, good thing she was planning to go or whatever. But she wouldn't have went as hard as she went if she had, she had to pay for it. That's the same situation. Like, don't be petty. Don't be like that. And then it was a post where a girl and a guy was going on a date. And she was like, do you see me? Do I look like, I forgot where they pulled up to. But my thing is, why would she even go out with the expectation that she need to run it up like that? That's what I'm saying. Like, how you gonna get to know somebody doing the most? Like, that shit ain't cool. Alright, let's get to the juicy shit. The White House and him being gay. Just because the White House is a freak, does it mean he's gay? No, I don't think so. He just like doing nasty shit. The problem is, though, I'm starting to hear certain things, right? They say when Dwight Howard used to go to the bench, he used to smack his teammates' meat. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I bet you don't. Everybody asked you to. 
Yeah, man. I didn't know how to respond to that. That's the problem, man. Wait. Yeah, don't worry. One day I get to figure out the turn off, sir. But look, if the problem is, is when he used to go to the bench, he used to be smacking on his teammates' meat. Size of the map. See, that's my thing, right? I don't. I think like the one thing I'm always worried about, right, is it isn't the fact, isn't the fact that, um, the person may be, uh, may like the same sex as a man. It's them liking me, and looking at me <laughs> weird, or or trying something. No, I don't want. No, like no. No, 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 no. No, I don't want that to happen to me. That's what I'm saying. That's my fear because then I'm gonna act a fool. No, I'm gonna be like you, motherfucker. Yo, know, see, I don't want to play that. But see, what they're alleging is my man was running a sex cult. <laughs> he with was some, doing what? With some, with some, you know, when they make that change, they don't like being called a dude. They get real angry about it. I'm like, slam, <laughs> sir. Can you please stop? I'm not a sir. I'm a man. Sir. Ma'am. <laughs> Can you please? Is that disrespectful for me to do that even though they want to be recognized as a female? If they correct you, yeah. If you oh, so if I keep know, saying sir? If you did not know, then no. Once they correct you, then it's, you know. Okay, here you go. According to the summary written by the officer. Not that you care. <laughs> huh? I said not that you care. Not that I care? Huh? You hot? Okay. Harper went to Howard's house. Huh? What went over my head? Harper went to Howard's house July 19, 2021, where they watched TV and kissed. So if the way Howard kisses another man that transitioned to a female, does that make him bisexual? Okay. You don't want to answer that. You're just going to let me down this year. That's some bullshit. I'm, I'm in this supplement, in, in this supplemental narrative, the officer wrote that Harper said he and Howard had been in a long-distance relationship for a few months. At 5 a.m., another person came over, and that person and Howard both wanted a threesome. Well, Harper said no, the report said. Um... In the supplemental report, the officer added that this was when porn was put on TV and Howard and the third man began undressing each other. Then Howard began rubbing Harper's leg and grabbing his penis. <laughs> it gets real. <laughs> it gets fucking real. How <laughs> Howard told Harper told Howard to stop. And Howard responded by pulling off his underwear and performing oral sex on Harper. While the third person penetrated Harper from behind. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> Clarification at 5 p.m. In his second narrative, written by the police, it said that the other man penetrated Howard. Now, Howard is seven feet tall. He Ain't too many men penetrating a seven Foot tall man. He the How did his head, strong doggy. giraffe ass get down low oh, enough? Doggy style. You and everybody in the same position on the knees. Okay. The other man penetrated Howard, not Harper. While Howard forced Harper to perform oral sex. That's what it said. The victim stated he cried during the incident. I bet he did. He was crying because his bow was getting violated. <laughs> No, he said the victim. The victim said that he didn't get penetrated. How okay, the got victim, penetrated? The victim stated he cried during the incident. The officer wrote, and that it went, and that it stopped when Howard ejaculated in his mouth. Oh! <laughs> Harper told the officer that he grabbed his phone, went to the bathroom, called the Uber, but Howard told him to cancel it because the other person would drive him home. The visitor told him. To keep everything a secret, the officer wrote in the narrative. Harper told the officer, per the report, that he hadn't talked to Howard since. Uh uh, you skipped it. No, it didn't. In narrative supplement, or someone would put a bullet in his head. Then threaten that man that he'd have made him suck his meat. That's some bull. Oh, see, I did skip that. Dang, I was trying to protect Howard. No, protecting him. 
The officer wrote that he called Harper on July 20th, talked to him briefly, and told him that he would call Harper again to have him come to the station for a formal interview. The officer called again the day to make the appointment, but Harper didn't answer. The officer wrote that they called again July 28th, but Harper did not answer, and then replied on voicemail. On August 9th, the officer said they sent a letter to Harper to let him know the case would be suspended if he didn't respond. The narrative ended by saying the case is closed by the suspension. So, that sounds like Howard got to the defendant. Mm -hmm. So now Harper is suing him. He filed a lawsuit later, 2018, in Gwinnett County Court. And my, my favorite place. <laughs> first, first 48, first 48 County. <laughs> Gwinnett County. Gwinnett. Don't, don't correct me. I watched the first 48, not you. <laughs> don't do that. You got to pronunciate it tall. And God damn, son, ain't nothing else in there. Jesus Christ, girl, stop looking at my cup. <coughs> so Howard was just out here just being nasty. Son, stop. Get your head away. I ain't got to go to no work. No, man, poor, poor Howard. No, man, poor, poor somebody. I just don't want... How do you feel? That's messed up. No, what part of it? What that part of it is messed up? That boy like that. Like, how would and the other dude, if they was into it, they could have did that to each other. They could have left them out of it. But then there's a... It's just so much. It's a lot more. Like, you really violated a mouthful. I'll say this. Boy, he did there's not a like lot it. more on the internet. You can Why he didn't bite him? Because he liked that shit. <laughs> Cause you force your me in my mouth and I don't want to do it. I'm gonna bite your ass. Cause he like that shit. I ain't shit you can he do. He said until he ejaculated, so you realize was getting it. You made that man come because it's or you were sucking for a long time. Hey, like, look, you couldn't resist it. That's what it's giving. That's oh oh. <laughs> say, oh oh. He got turned on and just started going with it. At first he ain't like it. <laughs> That's what he said. Mm. <laughs> uh. I, I disagree. What? I don't know, man. You don't Look, know what? I tell you what, in all these interviews the white is doing, the white around your lip. He don't care. That nigga ain't denying none of this shit. He don't care. No, that nigga he said, said I'm not is. gay. I just like what I like. According to Stephen A., that is the reason why that is the reason why uh, he can't he can't get an NBA job right now, and he's trying to get one because let's see because he always been nasty. Let's see. Yeah, man, Stephen A. had all lots of. So this just needs to be posted. <laughs> yeah. Watch. Let's see if we can get some context. Push that back. Because the White House, of all people, got to be front page news on this show today. Because if you didn't hear the news, um, the White Howard has been accused of sexually assaulting a man he met on Instagram and asked the court to dismiss the man's lawsuit. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, the NBA legend admitted that he met his accuser via social media in May of 2021. They exchanged text messages over the next two months. Ultimately, Harper paid a visit um, to Dwight Howard's home in July of 2021. Howard, according to court documents, admitted they went to his room, took off their clothes, kissed consensually, blah, blah, blah. In his complaint, Harvard, uh, Howard said Harper wanted a threesome. Uh, let me say this. Dwight Howard deserves to have his voice heard on any matters pertaining to his personal life. So who am I to stop that? Here's Dwight Howard speaking to y'all, to me and everybody else, himself. Listen up. Y'all can stop with the nonsense. Worry about all this is bullshit crap. Mind your business. This thing going on the next with dudes, bro. Why the hell do you or anybody care who the hell I spend my time with? That's the problem with y'all people. Y'all worrying about who people spend their time with. 
Whatever I'm doing in my damn room is my damn business. Whatever you doing in your bedroom is your damn business. That ain't for everybody. And everybody don't need to know. You ain't got to say anything about what... I agree. I, I agree with the white. I'm going to be real with you. Cut Michael. I am. It ain't none of our goddamn business if the white house won't be nasty. It ain't. It ain't none of our business. But when it does enter the group chat, you also can't get mad at all the bloggers, all the podcasters, all the media personalities that want to talk about it. Because the shit sound crazy. It sound real crazy to understand that a seven foot grown man that's built like a damn transformer. I'm briefly talking about the city girls. You feel me? Can be that big and that's, you know, pause. Just got a lot going on. Right? <laughs> You know the way, and if that's what you want to do, please keep it from coming out. Don't be threatening people that you're gonna put a bullet in their head if if they don't keep it a secret. Cause if chances are, if if you didn't threaten Hopper, 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 you told Hopper, Hopper to beat me. Hopper wouldn't have never said nothing. So that's on you, buddy. Whoever in that house threatened Hopper, Hopper failed. Uh, um. No, nah, I think they nope. said he ain't say nothing to the, he, A year later. NDA was expired or something. Oh. Oh, so he threatened him. He told him, <laughs> you speak on it, I'll sue your ass. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell the white. The white like um, Blueface. Y'all need to stop hooking up with these ratchet motherfuckers that don't know how to keep their mouth closed. On social media. Sliding yeah, into like, the influencers dm yeah like if, if that's if that's what it is just you know, you know people, now i look at you funny brother every time i look at you i just look at you like a man with a meat in his mouth <laughs> i wonder what he was doing when he was in taiwan getting taiwan because you know they like them happy, happy endings, endings. <laughs> skipping this one? I said this is to be used as a snippet. Oh, what's the snippet? What you be posting? And if somebody can actually read it, keep tuning to the podcast because you're toxic. I'm toxic? No. <laughs> when you IEP expired, you get a real slow right there. Oh, you don't fuck shit. <laughs> That's what we do. You that person. So that's what you about to do today. You on bullshit. Mm, whatever. Academics, what do you do now with this punk ass? So academics is out here speaking real disrespectful about the uh, uh, city girls. Mm-mm. So much not. so that he got... Uh, what's Uzi the, and uh, Diddy ain't about to play about them. No, what's that dude name who dressed, who, who wear the long nails? Yeah, Saucy Santana. Oh, he in... He in he, Saucy Santana called him a bitch. Oh, he ain't gonna play up out young Miami. That's he said, man, you 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 giving real uh, what do you call? It? He ain't gonna play about the bestie. Oh, I'm gonna find the video. You know, I I got the tea. Cause I was laughing like shit when I saw this shit this morning. I said, oh look at this nigga on the internet calling my DJ academics talking about meet me outside. Ooh. He gonna pop the motherfucking nails off, beat the brakes off with DJ academics. DJ going to say, no, 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 I'm not meeting you on the street. I need you to meet me at my headquarters. What type of pussy-ass shit is that? So he can slap my lawyer. All right, so. At your headquarters, okay. That's what he said. That's what he said, boo. Headquarters. Headquarters. Man, this is in the streets. Me in the road, so headquarters. Nigga, what the fuck is somebody need your headquarters for? That's the problem. See, I think I'm starting to think that maybe this is your aesthetic. You do the fake internet shit, and then you and you sit in a room full of motherfucking cameras and try to make a bitch crash out. You know, that's like we're from the hood. Oh yeah, that's how you tell the bitch. Uh huh. Come in my house. Come in my house, cause I can do whatever I want to. I'm 
we not, you don't have to, me and you can meet, we, we, we want to meet you outside. I want to meet you outside. I don't want to put us in our motherfucking headquarters, bitch. Corporate ass nigga. <laughs> I want to put us in our motherfucking hey, headquarters. No, I, I want to meet you in the club. I want to meet you in the field. I want to meet you in the street. I want to see you outside. I never, I never Let's knew get how sounded, boo. Headquarters. No, and no, I don't want to keep even pressing that we no, get on, we from the hood, because we corporate too. We corporate too, don't get wrong, we just is catching nice checks out this bitch. But we all know your motherfucking headquarters is giving 911, what's your emergency? Bitch, no, we're not doing that. We want to see you out the door, outside in the motherfucking field, bitch. Fuck is you chatting about? Fuck is you talking about? I'm going to tell you something. One thing I know. Carisha, please. Is what one, <laughs> hey, listen, one thing I know about them hood ones. <laughs> Shay, let's get after they, they 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 may dress real fancy and and give you don't all the bowls. Let the don't let that shit get to it. <laughs> Them niggas go just as hard as <laughs> I was born. <laughs> I was born by the river. I was like, nah. You know they say, hey man, I'm a boy. <laughs> don't let the the transition of it all fool you. At the end of the day. They were born, they can identify, but they were born. So I, I, I do I do agree with, with one statement Saucy Santana said. It's guys like DJ Academics, they go so hard on people and and um so much so that they make people question themselves because of how hard they going. And then they got a following of people who who, who are like minded and think the same way. And like to sit behind a, a computer screen and mm -hmm. talk shit about people. But see, mm -hmm. he's made a living of it. And no one's really chin checked him. But see, he's gonna meet the he's gonna meet his day where Birdman is gonna come to his face. Put and some respect on my put name. Some, put some you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Gonna put some real paws on him. It don't sometimes it don't just it don't pay to play. It don't pay to play them games, man. And you playing with people's money. Like, you got people out here really thinking. Like, you making statements that may be true. I mean, the city girls might be broken up. It's, it's been rumored they've been having issues. That's none of our business, right? It could be a contractional thing. It might not be them. But it might be the business. But even if they are, they are that doing their own thing. He call thing. Them, he, but he's calling them whack. Hold on, I got that video. They're doing thing. their own thing separately, supporting each other respectively grinding is <clears throat> why are you going so hard he been going hard too instead of supporting like he ain't gonna support them he you support can say something and just keep it moving but to like pound on it i mean he doing more than pounding on it because then it'll be a problem like if their men's pull up not even if their men's do he got a lady do he got some i don't think he do I say if he got a girlfriend, he wife, whatever, much, and they see her in the street, they smack he, the shit out of her just for you. <laughs> he he got too much free time on his hand to uh have the time to actually be in a relationship with somebody because he spends a lot of well, time. Well, that's why he hating because he over there fuck, fucking what's the the pussy pocket and the blow up dolls. He <laughs> over there with them joints. I, I mean, he I really want to be with one of them. He envy them. He wants that. And he don't, so... Oh, here you go. I found it. I think the city girls are completely over with. And they did the most pathetic interview I just seen recently. <laughs> and we, we need to hold some of these... Some of these um, makeshift... Makeshift... Um, chameleon... Non-talented... Lazy... No, Non-passionate people accountable. You see, the city girls are the definition of people who have gotten to places in their career without ever really doing the work. Mm. Let me be very, very clear about that. The city girls are a byproduct of good writers, good people that put the image around them, people that branded them the city girls. There's nothing the city girls has actually ever really did for their fucking self. Mm. And that's the problem. Because there's always a bunch of people I'm going to be honest with you, man. I think the city girls are completely over with. Like interview I just seen recently. Oh, wow. 
Or oh yeah, he's done. Really. Like you, he, mm, yeah. What the city girls do to him for him to They won't let him hit. He going too hard. They won't let him hit. Oh, he responded, boo. What do you say? He's a boxing my man in a deal. Period. I can't even say what I really want to say because you know. Fuck y'all and your fucking body man best friend, cause me ain't not no body man thing. You's a body man, me ain't a deal. Period. I can't even say it without I really want to say. Now you Jamaican? Tell you my heart was. I was born in Spanish Town Hospital in Jamaica, nigga. I grew up and I seen the worst things in my life. When I came up here, I had to be tolerant of a body boy. It's like motherfucking saucy yeah. Santana, nigga. Like that would never. I swear. If he was in Jamaica, me, I swear he would never be able to speak like this to me without real repercussions. But of course, we in America, so everybody exists. So I got to mm, smile, I got to laugh, and this is cool. But when you're talking, even works for you because I'm telling you, I will deal with Bati Martin, dog. What is Bati Martin? You as a person, you as an like entity, a the way you exist, the person you are, the spirit you are, nigga. I don't even like giving it to a Bati. Uh, we, we, we don't condone. Uh -huh. He get hit with. But we, don't, we don't condone homo homophobic behavior no, but that's on, what his on this get. podcast. But that's what he get because he really that's what his ass get, get because Saucy said what he said yeah, and here it is. Good. You got in your feelings you and say you over in Jamaica <laughs> over in Jamaica he would never be able to no, nah, keep that same energy. You are in America. Say, say it with your chest. You little bitch ass. He gonna hold back because he not in Jamaica. Do it. Don't don't sit and fake the fuck now because you're in America. You shouldn't have crossed that motherfucking river boat or the lights that we used to to get your ass over here. Like, no, don't do not do that shit. Like, that shit is crazy. If we was over, no, you're not there. You ain't been there in who knows how long. you in America. And if you feel froggy, meet him in the streets and leave. The fuck? That's some nerve. All right, we pause him. Check your, uh, my light green. It's still mine's was blinking. Yeah, I saw yours. Okay, why you didn't say nothing? I said anyway. you already caught it. Alright. <laughs> but nah, you're not gonna sit here and, again, and we say don't all this trash. Behavior. I just think like that <laughs> You <laughs> said all that trash and did all that if we was in Jamaica. So if Saucy say I'm be honest I got with a you. flight tomorrow to Jamaica, Look, meet I'm me there. You, I'm gonna tell you something. You know you know how he talk? He talk like my son talk on on the phone. He talk like a guy that hasn't wasn't <laughs> never at the playground, a guy that was never playing basketball, a never, a never got it, a guy that never went anywhere, that never experienced the hood. He don't understand none of that because he's talking from a place of privilege. I'm telling you, you better watch yourself. But like I just said, because he said in There Jamaica. are people, listen to me real quick. There are people, right, that will go to these shows that he go to and will pop up on them. Saucy Santana will pay that ticket and make sure they get a nice seat in these venues just to put their paws on you. It happens all the time at these shows. And it don't be the big shows. It be like the loving, it be the, uh, the uh, hip hop awards and just the little things that you go to. But from what I hear, you don't get out much. Because he can't because he run his mouth too much. And he probably I'm too scared saying, to get you, you out. Be, but he said, a hey, saucy. He said, if he was in Jamaica, you would book a flight to Jamaica and tell him to meet you. And put his money where his mouth is. Because he making it seem like because he in America, he can't do. You know how many people come from their country over here to America and still feel privileged to do whatever it is they could have got away with in their culture? Like, come on now. Get out of here. Don't say because if we was here, y'all got the money to be able to catch a flight tomorrow to go there. So meet him there. Until then, don't shut up. Shut up, because he just told. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Former NBA player Joe Joe Smith confronts his wife after finding out she has a secret OnlyFans account. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 cop, you're not going to say fuck me, or that's fucked up, it's not fucked up. What are you doing? 
Listen, it's not fucked up, and we're going to. Okay, look. So I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course, I'm mad because you just find out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself. So why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? Joe, so I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you know, You know who the fuck I was when Before. Before. Before, before yeah. Before, before, before yeah, I and I that. thought that I would never have to go yeah, back to anything like that. But that's not the case that, right that, now. After that, after that, everything's supposed oh, to be. Oh, he ain't got a mind. Everything did change. No, no, no. <laughs> No, it had to. I had to do something. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You had. How you feel about that, babe? He ain't got no money. So if you're if 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 you were afforded a certain lifestyle and that lifestyle changes when he is no longer you gotta able, go get it if you gotta keep that same lifestyle. My thing is, should you keep it a secret from your partner though? I mean, she probably hid it or said something. And he probably was like, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, she probably know he's going to be like, no. So he going to probably discourage her from Ooh, doing it. Look at how you're looking at me lick my finger. He would have been like, no, nah, don't do it type situation. So she was just like, just going to go ahead. All right. right, if she on OnlyFans, do he get the benefit from But, it? I mean, why he ain't ask where she getting money from? Because I'm quite sure he's seeing that he know that he ain't bringing it. So she probably she lied from? and said she got a boutique or some shit over. Yeah, a booty. <laughs> no pun intended. But what is she putting on OnlyFans for? Is the question. She playing with herself. But the thing, huh? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> she playing with herself. But she said you knew what it was before you married me. Yeah, so she was a freak before you married her. So she had an OnlyFans. She, she was a stripper me. or whatever situation, sir. Like, look. <sighs> You want to still be able to afford the lifestyle she had? You can't do it. At least, at least she ain't pull a um a home girl on the housewives of Potomac. At least she ain't leave you because you ain't got no money. She stuck. She still sticking with you. Mm-hmm. See, she could have left you. Yeah. She still sticking with you. So. All right. So Kodak Black responds to Ray J and. Whoever else had a problem with his his interview on um, Drink Champs, you know you know it got real. <laughs> you know it got real, baby. You ready? Wake me up when it's done. Come on here speaking like speaking about my experience with Trump or how that Trump shit happened or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean, I ain't got no rap for no bit. Like anybody ask me about that shit, I don't even. Know. I don't even know what she called it, homie. This fuck nigga wanted to go to Mar Lago. How the fuck this fucking nigga wanted to go to Mar Lago, homie? We said that was some reggae shit, homie. This bitch ass nigga wanna drink us all types of shit. Hey, we hate that pussy ass pie. Who the fuck you is? Fuck me. Like, this nigga got me out. This nigga got me out. We don't condone what did he this say? Podcast. I heard, I heard everything. He called him a fuck nigga. Yeah, I got that, but it, it was just... that's all he kept saying. You oh. fuck nigga, you fuck nigga, you do 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 fuck nigga. A Ray J responded. My love, Ray, Ray J responded. Oh Lord, did he do the hat challenge? Y'all had a life. I love this man. <laughs> you motherfuckers so retarded. Y'all just keep giving it to the internet. This shit crazy because it's like I don't. Really want to start talking shit because it defeats the purpose of trying to like make shit right in the culture like right if i'm thinking about a nigga and i think he falling over the wayside maybe i overreacted because i don't know the nigga i don't you know what i'm saying so maybe i overreacted maybe he was just you know what i'm saying so i feel like when you like watching the comments and shit and you eager to like say something I just ain't gonna do it. All right, so I got a question for you. If you don't know someone and you still have a compassionate response to something you see, hoping it will help this person, are you a bitch ass nigga for wanting to help them, or wanting to offer help, or put the call to action out to people who actually love him to help him? Are you a bitch ass nigga for wanting to do that? No. 
But also, should you mind your goddamn business and just let people free fall? If they want to fall flat on their face, I think it is their right to fall flat on their face. There's nothing you can do about it. But right? now that he know that, man, I didn't think he knew that to begin with. He was looking at a place to try to help. Like, nobody will know that you don't want the help or you having something if they don't ask. Mm-hmm. Like, if somebody sees something wrong with you, I know something wrong. Like, what's up? You could say, I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. Or say something. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if I don't know, you can't get mad at me for actually trying to be a genuine person to help. No. Okay, man. He said, I don't know him. I can see if he knew him. Then Mm -hmm. he would know different mannerisms. Yeah. Like, this is all. But if he don't know him and he just genuinely on the outside looking in, trying to, you know, support the culture, like you said. I equate this type of situation to going to the gym, right? You see people doing things the wrong way, and they used to be like, man, you should just help people. I just think sometimes you got to allow people to figure things out, and if they don't, so be it. I mean, look, I see people in the gym all the time doing workouts that I believe isn't really benefiting them, right? Mm -hmm. It's not my job to go to and say, Kodak Black, you know, you need to get help. Or like you need to do this. So yeah, I think man, you looking real, you looking real weird out here right now, dude. I think like whatever this is. But see, Ray J on, on this video said he doesn't know him. But then the next minute on another video, Ray J said he took him to the fucking Margalado with Trump, and that they 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 were saying real bad stuff. So I think that's a lie for Ray J to say he doesn't know him. That doesn't mean he's. I can take you somewhere and not know you. But why are you taking people somewhere, putting them in, in positions like that, and you don't know them? He put them in a position of you, your ass stay in jail. Maybe this man, can, you can be on his good side and be pardoned didn't, for didn't, a bunch of shit. Didn't, Who didn't, knows? Didn't, didn't Trump pardon, pardon him? him? What is that? Man, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. So. You need to go say thank you. You need to, I don't know. But, I don't know. You don't care either. No. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Goddamn bad, so. <laughs> you know, my nerves. Tell me something you do care about. You? I know, I care about you too, boo. All the time. You do care about me. You wrote for me these past couple of days when niggas out here lying on my name, sending these cease and assist letters Man, to my goddamn you gonna email. Leave that talking that you going to leave that B. And dying on Bye. my goddamn name. I can't leave that B. You going to leave. Until like next wife, episode. I, we Thank you for listening y'all. to episode Thank 127 you. of the podcast with the wife. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review, comment. Uh, what else, Will? What else you need to do? Like, share. Yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Please like this podcast. Please please share this podcast. Send us y'all comments. Yes, we send love us comments. some topics. Yeah, send us some topics. Some stuff y'all want us to talk about. Yeah, because we can, we can talk about anything. Can Again, we? thank you. Yes. Yep. Thank you for listening to another episode. Thank you for watching another episode. Peace.